Hey guys, so today's video is trying to get all of our ingredients for our recipes during quarantine. So let's begin. Ah, what a beautiful summer day in Panama. We have the Waya country blooming and a warm breeze. But wait a minute, what's going on? Why do we have helicopters both day and night flying over the city of Panama? Also, why do we have all these people forming massive lines just to enter the supermarket? Why are men and women divided on certain days of the week so that they could go grocery shopping? What's going on? So let's start off by clarifying some things. First of all, because of the corona outbreak worldwide, Panama has tried to lessen their amount of infected people by doing a strict type of quarantine. How does this work? So the days of the week are divided between men and women. Women can go out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and men could only go out on Tuesdays and Thursdays. However, if you are a first responder or your work is essential and you need to be out and about daily, you have special permits to do so. For the rest of us though, um, we can only go out on these specific days. Second of all, we would need to clarify that we're only allowed to go outside for two hours per day. However, if you are a first responder or a part of the essential workforce group, this would not apply to you because you have your special permit. Now with this being said, I cannot choose which two hours of the day I would like to go out. My two hours will be given to me according to the last digit of my ID card. So for example, my ID card ends in the number 6, which means that I'll be able to transit from 5.30 p.m. until 7.30 p.m. I cannot be out and about before 5.30 and I definitely have to be back home before 7.30 or I will have problems with the law. Also, these two hours are given to you just to go to the grocery store, to go to the pharmacy, um, if you need to go to the hospital. Of course, going to the hospital can be 24 hours um, or if you need to go to the bank. Number three, weekends are completely off limits. So we're allowed to transit between Monday to Friday, Saturday and Sunday. No one should be out and about unless you're a part of that uh, first responder group or essential worker group and you have your permit. So with that being said, we're going to start off with my trusty assistant. It is men's day today and his hours are from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. So transportation in the city has been affected. We no longer have Uber, taxis are limited, so we're using public service. Um, as you can see here, he takes about a 15 minute commute. Um, on the buses though, we have X's on the seats that mark where we cannot sit so we could have a little bit of social distancing inside of the bus. And we have small green circles that let us know how far we should be standing from one another when we're in the bus. So my assistant visited two different supermarkets on this day and as you can see, some respected um, the social distancing more than others. Long lines just to get into the supermarket and mind you, his two hours have already started. One of the supermarkets did have the green circles, the same ones as on the bus for distance, while the other one, as you can see, did not. So social distancing for this particular supermarket? Uh-uh. Um, it kind of goes against what the government is trying to um, avoid. So it's a little bit ironic on how outside is jam-packed, but inside it's very spacious and we don't have a lot of people um, together, right? So he was able to find about 85% of the ingredients that we need for our recipes this week, which is good. Um, as you can see, also when you're going to pay, they have these gray lines to separate people. But there were some other ingredients that we could not find in both supermarkets. So it was a kind of like a win-loss situation. He finished off his day with a 15 minute uh, commute, a bus ride back home. It's women's day today and it's raining cats and dogs outside. I'm really not prepared. I don't have an umbrella, so I'm just gonna have to wait it out. So I'm here in the supermarket shopping for the things that my trusty volunteer could not find in El Fuerte yesterday, his day. Um, and it's, let's see if we could, we could find these ingredients. Kind of depressing today going shopping only because there's like a million of items of things that I don't need on like a hundred different brands of them. And then things that I need, I don't really have much to choose from. So 
I don't know. Let's see how it went with my trusty volunteer. So I'm trying to look for hamburger bread, but all they have are different brands of loaves. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to make hamburgers this week. My trusty assistant couldn't find hamburger bread either. Just a whole bunch of different loaves, so. We'll see, maybe I'll learn how to make hamburger bread and I will make that video. <laughs> I'm not really allowed to film in the store, but I'm just gonna film this really quick. I found yeast. It has taken me two months and a half to find yeast. I've gone to 10 different grocery stores and they were just all out. And I finally found some, so I bought two packs. And let's see how it goes with my bread making. So I'm looking for pistachio and they don't have that flavor today. They usually do carry it, but they have like a whole bunch of vanilla flavors and chocolate, but no pistachio. So we have vanilla low carb, or carb smart. Vanilla no sugar. Lactose free vanilla. No sugar added vanilla. And chocolate, but no pistachio. So it looks like they're out on certain types of yogurts. I'm looking for cream cheese though. But yeah, there are a lot of holes and spaces, so maybe I will not find it. So like I guessed, they're completely out of cream cheese, but hey, they've got goat's milk, <laughs> which I won't be needing, but it's kind of funny. Oh well. So I'm pretending to text so that I don't get caught, but as you can see, the cashiers have like these massive plastic type of protection and they have like a little hole in the center so you could give the money. And that's what's going on. As you can see the hole in the center, that's where you get your money and your cash or whatever. Just as a reminder, I wasn't allowed to film outside of the store while I was waiting in line, nor was I allowed to film inside of the store, but I was kind of sneaking around a little bit so I could give you some footage. Um, but that's why my footage is not as complete as men's day. So I did come to three final conclusions, which are number one, two hours is not enough when we have to commute. As you can see, my trusty volunteer, he lost about 30 minutes going and coming back, 15 minutes each, plus all the time that he lost standing in line um, to try to get into these stores, and then the time that he used to buy things, and then also to pay. So if you add all of that up, it's a good chunk of his time, maybe an hour, an hour 10, is just wasted trying to get to the store, trying to enter, and trying to pay. In my case, it's a little bit different only because I don't have to take a bus. I could go to the store right down the street. It does take me about 30 minutes in total to go and come back and maybe another 10 minutes in line. As for number two, the days have not been divided equally. That is completely obvious. As you can see, women go out three times a week. Men only do it two times. And once Friday hits, you know that Saturday and Sunday is complete quarantine and men will not be able to go out until Tuesday of the following week. So I definitely think that that's not fair. And last but not least, most of the time we do not find what we need. And this is only because the time that we're allowed out. If we were allowed out earlier in the morning, right when the store opens, of course, we would have much more option to choose from. But since we're allowed out, my trusty volunteer and I, later on during the day, we're kind of getting leftovers, as you could see. But never fear, even though we have these small inconveniences, we will not allow this to affect our delicious recipes that we are preparing for you, new videos every week. So I'm super excited about this video. I hope you like it. So please stay tuned, please subscribe, and bye-bye.